Hello everyone! In this quick blender tutorial, I'm gonna show you a few methods to easily realign vertices in your meshes so that you get perfectly plain edges and surfaces. So, a quick way to move all the selected vertices to a plane is actually to scale them along one axis. Typically, to put all vertices at the same height, meaning the same Z coordinate, we just have to select all the vertices we want to realign, and then press S to scale them, and Z to constrain them to the Z axis. You see that if I drag my mouse, the points get closer or further away. So, to align them perfectly, I just have to press 0 to totally scale them down along my axis. Note that if your object already has some rotation, you can actually tap the Z axis multiple times to switch between the global and local axes. To align vertices to the same line, we can also constrain the scale to two axes at once. The idea here is to choose the axis we want to keep, and then press Shift plus that axis. For example, let's say we want to align all vertices along the X axis. Then we simply have to press Shift plus X, and you see that we now scale along the Z and Y axis. So if I scale down to zero, I've aligned all of my vertices on the X axis. By default, Blender scales around the median point of the selection. But you can actually change this behavior by going to the Transform Pivot Points menu that's up here. For example, if you use the cursor as the pivot point and apply the same scale technique, then you'll align all the vertices to the ground plane, or in other words, with a Z coordinate of zero. Another nice technique to align vertices is to snap them in the right position, by enabling the snap mode here, or by pressing Shift plus Tab. Again, these modes can work in several ways, depending on the parameters that you choose. In our case, the best option is to use the snapping to a vertex. This way, when we have a vertex selected and hover another point, our current selection will snap to this second vertex exactly. We can of course constrain the snapping to a single axis, which can again help us align vertices to the same plane, or like before, we can constrain the snapping to two axes at the same time to align vertices to the same line. The only issue with that method is that if you select multiple vertices and snap them to another reference, they will keep their current offset to one another. So you won't get a perfect alignment in one shot. Luckily, we can actually do it quite quickly by combining it with our previous technique. So we can first scale down all of the vertices to align them and then snap them to the reference. And a third way to create planar surfaces is via a built-in plugin you can activate that's called Loop Tools. And basically, if you open your user preferences, then go to the add-ons and enable this plugin, you'll see that now when you're in edit mode, in the edit tab of your end panel, you have a new Loop Tools section. And in here, there are various things to reshape your selected vertices or faces in diverse ways. And among those, there's the Flatten tool to easily move the vertices to the best fitting plane and create a planar surface in a flash. And there you are! Those were three techniques to easily realign your points to a plane or a line. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned a few things. Don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up if you did and to subscribe to the channel to see more of my videos. And also, feel free to tell me in the comments if you have other ideas of cool blender tricks that you'd like to learn. As always, thanks a lot for watching, and take care.